The SLE 1000 nasal CPAP system is made up of a flow driver on a trolley and consumables, for example, a patient delivery circuit, a nasal flow generator, bonnets for fixing and holding the flow generator in place, nasal prongs and nasal masks. The SLE 1000 flow driver can be used with other nasal CPAP consumables currently available in the marketplace However, we do advise the use of the SLE 1000 consumables. The SLE 1000 is a nasal CPAP delivery device comprising of two different modes of CPAP delivery. The first mode is the adaptive flow mode and the second mode is a fixed flow mode. The adaptive flow mode is a mode in which the user sets a CPAP pressure and the flow automatically adapts to changes in CPAP, thereby ensuring a continuous, stable CPAP delivery. The second mode is flow mode, and in this mode, the user sets a flow to achieve a targeted CPAP level. The user must manually adjust the flow for changes in CPAP pressure. This graph is a simulation of CPAP using a conventional flow driver. It shows irregular CPAP delivery which could be due to misplacement or blocked prongs or changes in lung mechanics. This graph is a simulation of CPAP using the SLE 1000 adaptive flow driver. It shows the maintenance of a constant CPAP due to the automatic adaptive flow compensating for fluctuations in pressure. Superimposing these two graphs shows the constant CPAP delivery of the SLE 1000 compared with conventional drivers. The shaded areas show periods of suboptimal CPAP when using a conventional driver. Turning to the back of the SLE 1000, you will find the mains power on switch, which has to be depressed for three seconds to power on. And to power down the unit, press the power button for three seconds and press again once more to cancel the power fail alarm. Just below it is the power mains power inlet. Immediately next to it is the RS232 port and next to that are the air and oxygen supply inlets. And next to that is the exhaust port and above that is the oxygen cell cover. To the left of the oxygen cell cover is the water trap and then directly above the mains power switch are three fuse holders. For the user, the most important one is the battery fuse holder and on commissioning, the battery fuse must be inserted into this holder. The SLE 1000 is able to operate on battery power for up to four hours in the event of a mains power failure, providing the battery is fully charged. The batteries must be charged every 10 days and must be connected to a power source for eight hours. The gas inlets on the SLE 1000 can be rotated through 90 degrees. On supply, they are in the horizontal position. But if there's a need to perhaps shelf mount the unit, these inlets can be directed in a downward position. The oxygen cell cover must be removed and the locking screw inside released to be able to move the inlets in a downward position. Turning to the front of the SLE 1000, the LCD screen displays measured parameters, functions, alarm messages, alarm history, and battery status. The three LED windows display the set values for the oxygen, the CPAP pressure, and the apnea time. The push and turn wheel selects and adjusts the parameters. The audio pause button is indicated by the bell which is crossed out. will mute an alarm for 120 seconds. If the audio pause button is pressed when there is no alarm present, 
it mutes the unit for 120 seconds, but should an alarm occur, it will only be visually indicated. Pressing the audio pause button again will revert the unit back to normal operation. Underneath the audio pause button is the boost button. By pressing the button, a boost of pressure, three millibars more than the selected CPAP level, will be delivered for a maximum of 30 seconds. And this can be repeated. On top of the unit is the alarm bar. This unit will illuminate in different colors, red for a high priority alarm, yellow for a medium priority alarm and blue for a low priority alarm or a technical alarm. In the bottom right hand corner of the unit you will see the battery and mains icons. If both these are illuminated the unit cannot be turned on.